Pentecostal pastor heading up a nonprofit ministry is detained overseas. Pastor Brian Naren has been traveling to India and Nepal for the past 17 years, training people there to become Sunday school teachers. On his most recent trip, Indian Customs agents arrested Naren, claiming he violated the Foreign Exchange Management Act. 600 side reporter Elizabeth Kubel following this case for us tonight, joining us now here in the studio with all the latest, Elizabeth. Yeah, Bo, Pastor Naren has been essentially stuck in India for weeks now. An attorney representing him saying a judge in India retained his passport and ordered a travel ban. This after agents arrested Naren. He was carrying funds to cover expenses for two conferences in India and Nepal, along with money for 13 ministers during that two week trip. An East Tennessee pastor traveling with Naren and witnessing the entire event, speaking to me about it tonight. This was the picture snapped before three Tennessee pastors took a trip to India in early October, planning to hold conferences to train and motivate young people to become Sunday school teachers. But the trip didn't pan out as expected. It's really hard to characterize it as anything other than a setup. South Knoxville pastor Jim Gore with Shelbyville pastor Brian Naren when he was arrested. Naren was carrying the group's travel and conference expenses. After interrogating uh, Pastor Brian about the uh, nature of the funds and um, what our uh, agenda was there in country, uh, one of the interesting first questions that he was asked was, are you a Christian? The attorney representing Pastor Naren says the problem wasn't that it's illegal to have the funds or travel with them, but the fact that officials in New Delhi did not provide the necessary documentation to account for them. At any time, had he been given any, any declaration form or any, they would have, you know, he would have absolutely filled that out and he was actually let out on bail after six days of staying in jail. Mm -hmm. So so um, the bad thing about that is the judge retained his passport and put a travel ban on him. So Pastor Naren right now is is currently trapped in India. Still, he's able to communicate with his attorney, family, and friends, including Pastor Gore. He has stayed very calm and is really, uh, believe it or not, even though he's the one who's being detained in India, he's the source of strength for all of us back here in the States. A hearing scheduled for Pastor Naren on October 22nd did not happen. He's got another court date set for December 12th. In the meantime, fellow Pastor Gore, who you heard from there, is encouraging people here to not only pray, but to also put action behind their prayers and speak up about this case to local lawmakers. Bo. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. And we should point out several D.C. lawmakers, led by Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn, We'll meet on October 30th to look at the next steps for the pastor. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story.